Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, Jason's not doing some walking and stuff like that, so I might as well film. <laughs> so I got some new stuff for to show you, so I'm excited and everything like that. Um, so let's get started. So, um, I went to Ulta and picked up some goodies. I got some stuff for my boxy charm. So that's what we're going to be using and stuff like that. Um, and grab a little bit of a mirror so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Nor new Nars um, cheek palette. That's what it looks like. I got, of course, I mean, I'm dark. Um, so yeah, so we're going to use a little bit of, um, the width, the shade right here and the grease. So I haven't decided what else I'm going to do with this palette because it's only one matte in this palette. So it sucks unless I want to use a bronze, use the bronzer, which I probably do if I have to pour in a black because you know, I probably will. Um, so there's that. So we're going to do a halo because why not? Because halo's on both sides type of thing. Um, because I need to, I need, cause this palette basically has, there's three shim, there's like a, um, I actually swatch it so you can see what he looks, it's a really pretty palette and everything like that, but um, there's only basically one matte. So there's the eyeshadows. Oh yeah, great swatches. There's only one um, matte, like I said, so and then of course the two bronzer shades. So you could use a bronzer shade if you want to for help depth, but so yeah. It is um, like 11 o'clock, so it's the daytime is a lot easier. Okay, so now I'm going to use my elf brush real quick. And I'm going to put in like with the dark, um, dark bronzer. See if I can get any depth in this thing. Probably not. Luckily, I still got some palettes I haven't put away yet, so we can probably use those. Because I swear I go in with a light eye look, everybody's going to think I'm dead. Literally, they do. So I'm trying to keep my mirror down so you can see what I'm doing. But, yeah. I am planning on getting, like, extra different kind of lightings type of thing, too. So we are going to use a little bit of this slug guy too, from Uma, Uma Beauty. Because... This chick needs some more mats in this thing, right? So we're going to use those. The only problem I have about these kind of like iron cheek palettes is that they don't are not inclusive, but it's NARS. I'm still using the same palette. It is NARS, so I won't frick it. <laughs> NARS is a big weakness type of thing to me. Okay, I need to pour in a lip. If you want to keep it like this, that's fine, but I need something darker. All right, so I'm gonna get the rescue. So we're gonna use a little bit. I haven't put away this palette yet, so we're gonna use the um, the metal palette from them, just to just to deepen the outer little bit up because this is already super light on me. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this in a second. Oh, wait. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of. Oh, I got the Nars in my hand. Let's see. Let's do that red one. That's kind of cute. Okay, so kind of like so. Then I'm going to fix it real quick. I'm do both eyes. Alright, so that's the eyes. I'm going to spray my face real quick. I already have my skincare on everything like that. I'm just doing it kind of like a hydration type of thing. So I don't have an actual primer. I know I use... Whoops, hello. Sorry. I know I use um, the mess. I might as well use this. What the hell? Um, use this again, so why not? I haven't actually tested because um, I gotta work, go work tonight and close the store, so I haven't actually tested it. See how it plays on your makeup or anything like that. Um, I just got did it for some passion. So, so let's see how well it wears. I guess. Okay, so there's that. For me, Demise and Myricks, um, Myricks is kind of like a whatever brand. I haven't tried the high shadows because they all kind of like makeup artsy. I look so freaking pear, I swear. Because neck, face. Okay, so now we're going to use a little bit of, I got like a little sample of the iconic um, London pore primer. So I like to put pore primers kind of like underneath my eyes. You know, lines or, you know, places that you want to put. Airheart, um, Airshop has kind of like 
little samples that you can try makeup on. Some stuff is like, or um, JLo Beauty, sometimes they have a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury and stuff like that. It, it's a little bit, um, probably costs a little bit, but not, it's not too bad. But it is, but of course, paying how much for it and then actually getting the full size and go frick it. You don't like it. But I am, it's kind of like I, but the only problem is like if when you try perfume, it's like, ooh, I love it. Blame for saucy. Um, but yeah, so there's that. I don't know how well this does, but yeah, I think it does a decent job, right? But it kind of reminds me a little bit like kind of like the poor pie more, um, but kind of cute. You guys are pretty good though. Okay. So I'm just going to use a little bit of car. Let's see. Where's my foundation at? Okay. Sorry. So there's this guy right here. It's the other color and this guy is in cappuccino. Usually I would use my filming foundation, but this chick has to go to work, so we're going to use this guy. And actually I might mix it because he's a little bit too on the dark side. So we're going to mix him with, I guess a kick ass, so why not? So extra matting. Which is fine because I want the sh the brightening shade I got from Box of Charm. It's a little bit on the like I say dark side. I'm gonna blend out. All right, so there's that. So let's use a little bit. I used this guy the other day and it was kind of neat. It's um F Fenty Beauty uh Bright Fix and this was in Honey. I'm just gonna squeeze it out a little bit. So this is the shade of it. Oh yeah, you can still see that, right? Uh, um, so I'm just gonna use a little bit. That's why I kind of want like a little bit. I don't want like two pair because this thing really matches my skin tone. So I don't know how well brightening this thing does, um, but it does. Okay, I don't like that guy down there. But it's not going to cancel out any. My opinion doesn't cancel out any discoloration or anything, but I do like it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I really want to get some actual lights, so hopefully I can do that soon. Hang on, I gotta call. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of the Huda and probably regret this because I got a close tonight. So I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit like so. The trick is like don't use a lot of this stuff, so like that much. So this is gonna take a little while to pan because it's very full coverage. It's not the most um, and it's thick, like. I want to say like, okay, shape tape-ish, but yeah, basically shape tape-ish. So you like that one, um, like it's not as bad as the, okay, the L'Oreal one, that full coverage one, oh my god, that was like, that one is just like a teeny weeny dip. This is kind of similar to that, so if you want like an alternative to that, um, go to L'Oreal. They have like that full coverage one, which is very intense, it's very full coverage. So we're also going to use a little bit of NYX for, um, dun, 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 you know, down the nose. I'm only using a tiny bit because, um, he's bright. I mean, not bright, but he's light. Yeah, not in a good way. Like, something's okay, but that one is like three shades too light. Like, this guy's light on me. Okay. So, then um, I got the new Tarte powder. This is the Creaseless Scent Powder, and this I got in Honey. So I haven't actually got to use this. I'm not using this stupid puff because for me, every time I use a puff, it looks cakey. So I'm just going to use my brush. So it has this goofy little sifter thing, like, like type of thing. So I'm just going to take the top of it. And on my little, um, kind of like crease brush, what do you call it? I use brushes. Because in my opinion, I think puffs and sponges, you get too much product and it's hard to control the product. Why she can go knock, knock, knock. So let's see. I want to see how well this guy wears. So, so far it looks kind of cute. Okay. Really cute. So I'm just going to do a little bit on this side too. Okay. One of the girls at Ulta was like, hey, you tell me I need to try it. So I was like, boink. Okay. So there's that. 
So I am going to use the Anastasia um, Cream Bronzer. Funny, funny is they sent me, th I ordered one and they sent me three of them. So my two friends, um, Alejandra and Rania, got one of each. Well, again, I gotta ship it. I'm gonna do this guy's, which is a good thing that I got basically a very new natural shade on me because they're a little bit lighter than me. One is way lighter than me, and um, Alejandra is a little bit lighter than me. So those two girls are getting um, another two cream bronzers. So yeah, we might have. Like it's really my, it's about like a deeper, a little bit deeper than my skin tone. I'm like, dude, which is okay be in the winter because I'm a, I'm a little bit paler. I go a little bit lighter in the winter, but right now I was like, dude, it's a little bit too light. <laughs> I just got my nose great. It's a little bit. It's very, the color is very natural on me. So we're gonna use a little bit of this dude for my cream bronzer, my fake cream. Not fake, we call it um, Franken Cream Bronzer. I'm just going to use a hair bit just to deepen up just a hair bit. Okay, a lot. i got to be careful how much I use because most of it is um, lipsticks that, of course, are browns and they look weird. I'm not going to do any lips today because, of course, I got to work. And usually I don't wear a lipstick when I go to work. Okay, I don't wear <laughs> lipstick. Okay, so next I'm gonna try one of the new Morphe um, Shake Gently like dudes, the cream bl blushes things. So this is why he he's kind of like filthy, doesn't make sense. This is what it looks like. So the shade I got is in Hot Shot. This guy you gotta be very careful because um, if you squeeze it, it's gonna go everywhere. So what I've done is I just take it from the top, cause you do get a little bit, like, kind of like you gotta squeeze it just just a little bit. So what is that? I don't do the whole nose thing, cause I think it looks weird. So there's that. This is actually going to be Tuesday's video. Actually, Monday. My bad. Monday. So there's that. Then I did get um, like a sample thing of JLo stuff. So I'm just going to use Horrors. I'm just going to use this one right here. The um, JLo Beauty the Star Filter. Kind of as my cream highlight. I'm almost done with these. Uh, the stuff I tried, I tried a couple things on her, and I'm kind of like, whatever. But it's like, Jayla's all about the glow, so I expect a little bit more from her type of thing. From her Dwayne. Like, she's all super glowy and everything like that, so I expect it to be kind of more J-Lo. So, there's that. It might be a hair bit too deep, but whatever. This one's a little too light and the rose gold was a little bit too light then the warm bronze is a little too dark. So the tan I'm probably gonna use basically on my face probably tomorrow and get these that sample thing that done. So there's the cream products. Um, now let's get into bronzers. So I don't have anything new except for MAC right now. So I guess I'll just use my new MAC 40. So we're gonna use Goldie, Golden um, Bronze. Could use a couple of effects, but I guess I was going to use a couple of effects. So when the there you go, we're gonna use cover effects at the top. There we go. I'm we gonna use the um the shimmer one for the top a little bit. He's in my deck of pan project pan. My goal is of course to hit pan on him. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of like I said golden to the thing and a little bit to kind of down on the nose for the frick of it. Okay, that's that. Okay, so I don't have a blush. I, I have that one blush, but I'm just gonna use, okay, you did see on uh, my MAC blush, I'm gonna use him again. 
So I'm going to use this guy like, like me, love me again. What the heck? So, because I don't have an action. Wait, we have a blue bronzer in this stupid thing. Duh. Duh, this palette, right? Duh. Okay, so um, I'm going to see how, I know, I think, I believe I have Laguna 6. So she said I can use bounce between the two, so that's going to do. Okay. I'm just going to use six to the top. So I guess we're going to use a little bit more bronzer for what the hell how. Of course we're used to this. That worked. Okay, so there's that. We are going to go back to using the highlight on that. So I might actually use... We're going to use um this guy through kind of like a blush, I guess you want to call it. So cool. I am so born this freaking shit right now. Oh well, fuck it. Okay. So next I want to use is my um trying to find a brush. Okay, found them. So we're gonna use uh the highlighter. Dude, ah, it's gorgeous. It might be a hair bit too dark for me, but the six does work on me. But of course, the other shade is in eight. Laguna eight is way too dark, so I can just bounce between the two. Okay, so there's that. So I'm gonna set my face with Chris with Casino from NARS, and I'll be right back. Spoiler alert for him. So yeah, he's gonna be gone pretty soon. I'm excited for that. So, yay. So, there's that. I swear I still I need to go a little bit more on the forehead because this is a little bit too light up top. So, I'm just going to go a little bit more. A little bit too natural for my liking. Well, well. Let's put this pad in. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's still too light. <laughs> it looks natural on top. Okay. Cool, whatever. Maybe I can use it. Okay, frick it. Okay, so now I'm just going to do my brows. Which I want to do them off camera. Maybe. Alright, so they said I did the eyeliner, I did my brows. I'm just going to set everything real quick. Set my brows, of course, with my um, Makeup Geek bronzer. They just guys going nowhere. Like so. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of some eyeliner. Where's that Clinique do that? It is. So I need the lash line. I always put line underneath the lash line because it does help the um, yeah, eyeshadows last longer on here. Usually at the end of the night when I'm like half asleep, the only thing still on my eyes is. Only thing that's still on my skin is my eye. It's my eyeshadow. So that bronzer, that um, not bronzer, what you call it? Um, that eyeshadow from Ulta is very nice. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use go into Nora's real quick. I'm trying to keep this thing down so I can sort of see, so you can see me. You get that idea. So, so the inner corner, I don't know which one I'm going to use. So I'm going to use the, okay, probably not that one. I guess I could probably use that orange one right there for like a crease shade maybe. I don't know. Because it's like a satin. So I'm just going to use that, um, this guy right here through the inner corner. Sometimes I could take in the top of the nose, why not? So there's that. Um, let's throw some mascara on real quick and call this done. Usually I don't wear mascara. Sometimes I do. Usually if I, if I close the store, then I will wear mascara. If I don't close the store, I won't. So I guess I'm just going to use Lancome.
because I didn't want to take off my lipstick in the next hour and a half. I love Lancome's um, mascaras, they're so nice. So there's the overall look. Um, I guess I can put maybe like a teeny tiny bit on my lips for the hey hey, not that one. That'd be hilarious, that was two face scare. So we just might do a hair bit, it is a hair, so I'm just gonna comb go like this. I'm just using my fingers too. So I don't have too much. I gotta eat anyway, so might as well um and be off in a second. So this overall look. Um oh this is the elf um sheer stick. I just kinda like dab it. So this is the overall look. I hope you guys like this. Um comment, subscribe, or anything like that. I'm gonna set my face with this little guy from the 100 percent pure waterman cucumber one. I don't know how well it works, but I was going to use a little bit of um, Ornido, so I've got. So let's use the Ornido. Come on. Oh, yeah. I forgot how bad this smells like hairspray. Well, it does smell like hairspray. Not as bad as the one from L'Oreal, but it still smells like hairspray. Um, so this is the overall look. Hope you guys like this. Um, comment, subscribe to my channel, anything like that. Um, it's nice and kind of like watery. <laughs> Um, and I see you guys later in my next video. This would be guys' is, um, probably tomorrow's video. I do have my eyeshadow, um, palette collection up as well, um, for part three. We're probably going to do one more. Um, I don't know. I might then have to decide what I'm going to have because I want to need to do the ones in my drawer and everything like that. Um, so we see then because most likely you guys don't know which ones I'm panning. There's still some more. I don't know. We go by here. So hopefully I can have another one of those up this week. That'd be kind of cool. All depends when Jason's working. So who knows. So until my next video, I see you guys later. Like and subscribe. And see you now. Bye guys.